Welcome to our video on the topic of death and why we die. Understanding the reasons why we die is a natural part of human curiosity, and while death is a universal experience, it's not always well understood. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing the various factors that contribute to death and the scientific explanations behind them. The first and most obvious reason why we die is the aging process. As we age, our bodies undergo a variety of changes that can make us more susceptible to disease and death. For example, as we get older, our cells begin to deteriorate and can't repair themselves as effectively, which can lead to a variety of age-related diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's disease. Another important factor that contributes to death is genetics. Some diseases and disorders are inherited, which means they are passed down from one generation to the next through our genes. For example, conditions such as cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, and Tay-Sachs disease are all caused by genetic mutations. In addition to genetics and aging, environmental factors can also contribute to death. These factors include things like pollution, exposure to harmful chemicals, and poor diet and exercise. For example, chronic exposure to air pollution has been linked to an increased risk of lung cancer, while the diet high in processed foods and low in fruits and vegetables has been linked to an increased risk of heart disease. Trauma and injury are another major cause of death. Trauma can include physical injuries such as car accidents, falls, and gunshots, as well as emotional and psychological trauma. Trauma and injuries can result in long-term health complications, chronic pain, and disability, which can also contribute to death. Infections and diseases are another major cause of death. Some of the most common causes of death from infection and disease include pneumonia, influenza, and tuberculosis. Additionally, illnesses like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes can also contribute to death. Lifestyle choices such as smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, and drug use can greatly increase the risk of death. These habits can lead to the development of chronic health conditions such as lung cancer, liver disease, and heart disease, which can ultimately result in death. With the advancement in medical science, many diseases and conditions that once were fatal, can now be treated and managed. However, in some cases, even with the best medical care, death is inevitable. While death is an inevitable part of life, understanding the reasons why we die can help us to better understand our own mortality and make informed decisions about our health and well-being. The factors that contribute to death include the aging process, genetics, environmental factors, trauma and injury, infections and diseases, lifestyle choices and even some medical advancements. By understanding these factors, we can work to reduce our risk of death and improve our overall quality of life. Thanks for watching, do support us by subscribing us.